Mansa Musa, the Golden Ruler. Chapter 1. The Remarkable Ruler in a distant land many years ago was a country called Mali. Mali was a land of vast deserts, lush forests and winding rivers that all came together to form a diverse and beautiful country in West Africa. Mali bordered several other countries, including Senegal and Mauritania to the west, Algeria to the north, Niger to the east, and Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire to the south. Where the sun painted the sky with brilliant oranges and golds, there lived a powerful and kind ruler named Mansa Musa. He was like a king, and his kingdom was filled with treasures and stories waiting to be told. Mansa Musa was special, not just because he wore clothes woven with threads of silver and gold, but because he had a heart as big as the Sahara Desert. His kingdom was vast and full of wonders, like a treasure chest waiting to be opened. People from all around came to see Mansa Musa and hear his stories. His eyes sparkled like stars as he talked about his land, where towering sand dunes whispered secrets to the wind and rivers twisted like snakes through the earth. Mansa Musa wasn't just a ruler. He was a leader who cared for his people. He listened to their hopes and dreams, and he worked hard to make their lives better. He believed that every person, from the smallest child to the wisest elder, deserved happiness and respect. In the heart of Mali, where the sun's warmth embraced the land, Mansa Musa ruled with kindness and strength. His name echoed through the bustling markets and vibrant cities like a melody that everyone loved to sing. As the children of Mali listened to the tales of their remarkable ruler, they felt a sense of pride in their hearts. Mansa Musa wasn't just a king, he was a symbol of the beauty and richness that their land held. And so, with the rising sun painting the sky with hues of pink and gold, the story of Mansa Musa began. A story of a ruler who ruled with love, a ruler who shared his riches, and a ruler who left an indelible mark on the sands of time. Chapter 2. A Curious Child Long before Mansa Musa became a great ruler, he was a curious child in the land of Mali. The sun-soaked days and starry nights were his playground, and the stories of his ancestors were his lullabies. As a little boy, Mansa Musa was filled with wonder. He listened in awe to the elders as they gathered under the shade of ancient baobab trees. They told him stories of brave warriors and wise leaders who ruled the land before him. Mansa Musa's family taught him important lessons, how to be kind to others, how to share, and how to always seek knowledge. His parents showed him the true meaning of leadership with dignity, pride, and humbleness. Every morning, Mansa Musa, would wake up early to explore the vibrant markets of his kingdom. He watched as merchants traded precious goods like shimmering gold dust and fragrant spices. His heart swelled with excitement as he imagined all the places these treasures had traveled from. But it wasn't all play and adventure. Mansa Musa was a diligent student too. He spent hours with the wise teachers learning about numbers, words and the stars that littered the night sky. He soaked up knowledge like a sponge, eager to understand and explore the world around him. One day, as Mansa Musa gazed out at the endless expanse of the Sahara Desert, a thought crossed his mind. One day, he would be a ruler, just like those before him. He dreamed of leading his people to distant lands, sharing riches along the way, just as his parents had taught him. As the sun set on another day in Mali, Young Mansa Musa tucked his dreams into his heart. Little did he know that his curious spirit and hunger for knowledge would shape him into the remarkable ruler he was destined to become. Chapter 3 Journey to the Sacred Land Once Mansa Musa became a thriving young man, his heart was filled with a burning desire to explore distant lands as he once dreamed of as a lad. He wanted to embark on a journey like no other, a journey to a sacred land called Mecca. The air was charged with excitement as he prepared for this grand adventure. Mansa Musa knew that this journey would be long and challenging, but his determination shone brighter than the desert sun. 
he gathered his finest treasures and brought with him so much gold, the people couldn't believe their eyes. His kingdom buzzed with anticipation as he invited all who cared to journey with him. The people whispered in awe, eager to witness their ruler's pilgrimage, and with a caravan of camels laden with gold, jewels, and exotic goods, Mansa Musa set out on a path that would take him across sprawling deserts, through bustling markets, and to distant lands. The journey was not just for himself, it was a journey of faith and a journey to show his people and others the true spirit of Mali. As the caravan ventured forth, the air was filled with the sweet scent of spices and the rhythmic beat of drums. Mansa Musa's heart beat with excitement, for he was not only carrying riches, but also the hopes and dreams of his kingdom. In every land he crossed, Mansa Musa's generosity shone like a beacon. He shared his treasures with those he met along the way, from the humblest villagers to the grandest rulers. His gifts were like rays of sunlight, warming the hearts of all who received them. He also shared stories of his land to newfound friends, so word would spread about the beauty of Mali, his kingdom, and the kind and generous citizens that lived there. The lands he passed through were forever changed by his presence. Mansa Musa's journey was not just a physical one. It was a journey of connections, of friendship, and of unity. People marveled at the kindness and humility of this great ruler from Mali. As the caravan finally reached Mecca, Mansa Musa's heart swelled with gratitude. He stood among a sea of pilgrims, a single grain of sand on the shore of a vast ocean. But his presence was felt by all, for his spirit was as boundless as the desert itself. In Mecca, Mansa Musa prayed, reflected, and found a deeper connection to his faith. He knew that his journey was not just a personal achievement, it was a gift to his people, a testament to the greatness of Mali and a symbol of the unity of humanity. And so, with his heart full of memories and his soul renewed, Mansa Musa embarked on the return journey to his beloved Mali. The path back was just as challenging, but his spirit remained unbroken. As he rode across the dunes, he carried with him the lessons of Mecca, the lessons of humility, generosity, and the unbreakable bonds that connect us all. Chapter 4. Gifts of Gold and Stories Mansa Musa's return to Mali was not just a homecoming, it was the beginning of a new chapter in his remarkable story. He brought back more than just the treasures he had carried. He brought back the spirit of generosity and a desire to share his kingdom's riches and culture with the world. People from near and far gathered in awe as Mansa Musa opened the doors to his kingdom, revealing the dazzling treasures he had brought back from his journey. Gold sparkled like sunlight, jewels glimmered like stars, and colorful fabrics flowed like rivers. But it wasn't just the riches that amazed everyone. Mansa Musa had a heart full of stories, and he eagerly shared them with those who listened. He spoke of the golden dunes of the Sahara, the bustling markets of far-off lands, and the kindness he had encountered on his pilgrimage. Mansa Musa knew that true wealth wasn't just in gold and gems. It was in the connections he made and the understanding he fostered. He invited scholars, artists, and thinkers from all corners of the world to visit Mali, turning the kingdom into a vibrant hub of knowledge and culture. In the heart of Mali, grand celebrations were held to showcase the kingdom's beauty and diversity. People danced to the rhythms of drums, shared stories around campfires, and marveled at the wonders that had been brought back from distant lands. Mansa Musa's generosity knew no bounds. He built mosques where people could gather to pray, and he established centers of learning where scholars could exchange ideas. He wanted Mali to be a place of enlightenment and harmony, where people from different backgrounds could come together as one. The kingdom of Mali became a beacon of culture and understanding, where treasures were not hoarded but shared freely. Mansa Musa's legacy was not just in the wealth he possessed, but in the bridges he built between people, cultures, and ideas. As the sun set over the golden sands of Mali, 
Mansa Musa's kingdom shone brighter than the finest jewels it contained. It wasn't just a land of riches, it was a land of compassion, generosity, and the beauty that comes from embracing the world with open arms. Chapter 5. Cities of Splendor In the Kingdom of Mali, two cities stood as jewels in Mansa Musa's crown, Timbuktu and Gao. Each city had its own unique charm and treasures, weaving a rich tapestry of culture and history that captivated all who visited. Timbuktu, City of Knowledge In the heart of Mali, a tapestry of wonders unfolded, creating a kingdom that glittered like gold. The cities were like jewels, each one shining with its own unique brilliance. Timbuktu, a city nestled on the edge of the Sahara Desert, was a center of knowledge and trade. Its bustling markets were a kaleidoscope of colors where merchants from distant regions exchanged precious goods. Here, books were treasures and scholars from across the world gathered to share ideas that sparkled like stars. Timbuktu, with its golden sands and bustling markets, was a city like no other. It was a place where stories were as valuable as gold and where knowledge was revered above all else. Mansa Musa's passion for learning had turned Timbuktu into a beacon of wisdom, drawing scholars from distant lands. In the heart of Timbuktu, scholars gathered. In grand libraries that held treasures beyond imagination, ancient scrolls, manuscripts filled with wisdom, and books that told tales of far-off lands. People came from all corners of the world to exchange ideas and expand their understanding of the world. The city streets were alive with the rhythm of drums and the melody of languages spoken by travelers from every corner of the earth. Timbuktu was a crossroads of cultures, a place where people from different backgrounds met and shared their stories. Gao, jewel by the river. On the banks of the majestic Niger River lay Gao. Its waters whispered stories beyond the horizon and carried with them the dreams of explorers. Gao's markets were alive with the songs of traders and its people were like the river itself, flowing with life and vitality. Gao's bustling markets were a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds, where merchants from distant lands converged to exchange goods from every corner of the kingdom. The air was filled with the aroma of spices, and the laughter of children echoed through the streets. The city's architecture told tales of rich history. Mud brick buildings with intricate designs stood as a testament to the creativity of its people. Mansa Musa's touch could be seen in every corner as he enriched Gao's growth and prosperity. Both Timbuktu and Gao were the heartbeats of Mali, pulsating with the energy of people who shared their dreams, cultures, and aspirations. These cities were more than just stone and mortar. They were the embodiment of Mali's spirit. Mansa Musa's kingdom was a glorious tapestry woven with threads of unity where people of different backgrounds came together to create something beautiful. As the cities thrived, so did the people. Mansa Musa's rule brought prosperity that trickled down to every corner of his kingdom. Farmers tended to fertile fields, artisans crafted intricate works of art, and children played beneath the shade of baobab trees. The grandeur of Mali was present in its architecture too. Mansa Musa's vision shaped cities that rose like sandcastles against the horizon. Magnificent mosques with towering minarets dotted the landscape, their domes reaching toward the heavens. Chapter 6 Pillars of Faith Amidst the flaxen expanse of Mansa Musa's Mali, a powerful force shaped the kingdom's heart and soul, the influence of Islam. Like a guiding star, Islam illuminated the path that Mansa Musa and his people traveled. Mansa Musa's love for Islam was deep and unwavering. He believed in the teachings of compassion, kindness, and unity that the faith brought. Under his rule, Mali became a land where mosques stood as symbols of both faith and strong community. Within the walls of the cities he nurtured, mosques reached for the sky like outstretched hands reaching towards the heavens. Their domes gleamed under the sun, and their minarets stood tall, like watchful sentinels. People gathered in these sacred spaces. 
their voices harmonizing in prayer like a chorus of angels. Mansa Musa ensured that education flourished alongside faith. Scholars, wise men, and thinkers from near and far found a home in Mali. They shared their knowledge and expanded the horizons of understanding, helping Mali become a center of learning and enlightenment. But it wasn't just within the kingdom that Mansa Musa's influence of Islam was felt. His pilgrimage to Mecca had deepened his connection to the faith, and he carried its lessons of humility and generosity with him. He shared his wealth with others, believing that helping those in need was a fundamental duty. Islam's influence was woven into the fabric of everyday life. The people of Mali followed its teachings, creating a society where everyone was treated with respect and dignity. The call to prayer echoed through the cities of Mali. Islam's religion was a guiding light that illuminated a path through the kingdom the king nurtured. The influence of Islam flourished, shaping the kingdom's values, culture, and identity. It was a legacy that Mansa Musa cherished, a legacy that would continue to light the path for generations to come. Chapter 7. Echoes of Greatness As the years rolled by, Mansa Musa's reign came to an end, but his legacy endured like the eternal sands of time. His impact on Mali and the world was like ripples in a pond, spreading far and wide, touching hearts and inspiring generations. Mansa Musa's legacy was not only in the gold that flowed through his kingdom, but in the empathy he showed to others. His generosity had left an indelible mark on the people he had met during his voyage, and his tales were passed down for centuries. The grand mosques he built, the centers of learning he established, and the cities he inspired continued to flourish long after his time. Scholars from all corners of the world continued to journey to Mali to learn, exchange ideas, and marvel at the treasures that Mansa Musa had left behind. The influence of Islam continued to shape Mali's culture and way of life. The people of Mali carried forward the teachings of compassion, unity, and respect that the unforgotten ruler woven into the fabric of their society. Mansa Musa's legacy stretched beyond the borders of Mali, influencing the world's perception of Africa and its history. His pilgrimage to Mecca put Mali on the map, and his tales of wealth and generosity were recounted in far-off lands. Even today, Mansa Musa's legacy lives on, a testament to the greatness that can be achieved through leadership, compassion, and a thirst for knowledge. His story is an inspiration, a reminder that one person's actions can create a ripple effect that shapes the course of history. Chapter 8. A Glimpse Behind the Golden Curtain As we journey through the remarkable life of Mansa Musa, let's take a moment to uncover some fun and fascinating facts about this legendary ruler. Did you know? 1. Timeless Journey When Mansa Musa embarked on his pilgrimage to Mecca, he didn't travel alone. He brought a caravan of thousands of people, including soldiers, servants, and even musicians. It was like a moving city, filled with excitement and adventure. 2. Wealth beyond measure. Mansa Musa's kingdom was so rich that he's often considered one of the wealthiest individuals in history. His generosity was unmatched and his gifts of gold along the way enriched other lands. 3. Cat lover Mansa Musa had a soft spot for furry friends. He was known to bring along his favorite cats on his journey to Mecca, ensuring that even his pets could experience the wonders of the world. 4. Architectural Marvels The cities of Timbuktu and Gao flourished under Mansa Musa's rule. He was an architect who designed and constructed magnificent mosques, grand libraries, and beautiful palaces that still stand to date. 5. Influential Explorer Mansa Musa's pilgrimage had a profound impact on the world. His tales of Mali's riches and culture spread far and wide, drawing attention to his kingdom and forever changing how the world saw Africa. Chapter 10. A Timeless Legacy Mansa Musa's legacy is a reminder that greatness isn't just measured in wealth or power, but in the impact we have on others and the world around us. He left a trail of inspiration that serve as a guide to encourage us to be curious, kind, 
and open-minded. The history of this world is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. There's a world of knowledge out there, and this tale should encourage you to take the torch of curiosity and continue your journey through the pages of history. Dive into the stories of other remarkable individuals, explore the rich cultures of different lands, and uncover the hidden gems that have shaped our world. You have the power to make a difference, to leave your own mark in the history books. As you embark on your own journey of learning and discovery, may you be inspired by the lessons of the past and the boundless potential of the future. The world's history awaits. Go forth and explore, for the tapestry of our past is woven with many engaging stories that are waiting to be told.